and we got stuck up to the knees in mud. I lost both my shoes. This is the state of my scooter now. This is where the mud came up. We're lucky to pull it out. It took yeah. three of us to pull it out. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just landed at Leo Airport. Airsmith welcomes you to Amigo. Um, and we have breakfast waiting outside of our Airbnb. Let's go check out the breakfast. I don't remember exactly what I ordered, but... Oh my god. Did you guys realize just how warm it is? Ah, uh, so it's 9.30. Just starting out our day after breakfast. It's actually pretty noisy here for being away from the city. It's actually noisier than the city with all these uh, motorcycles and um, car noises. So we're, we're actually gonna rent a scooter. We're gonna rent two. Um, so we each have our own. Um, I think we ride better that way if we can, we can do it. So we're gonna rent two scooters. We're gonna head out to the beach and maybe do some swimming and I don't know, wading in the ocean, whatever you do at the beach. It's a nice day for the beach, not raining yet, so perfect, perfect. It'll be an adventure to ride the, we got a 45 minute bike ride. Traffic is pretty heavy, but I think we'll be able to manage them fairly well. We used to, we had scooters in New York that we rode quite a bit until one of them got stolen. And so we can handle hey. the bikes. We can handle can the bikes. Can we? Yeah, let's do it, this will okay. be an adventure. Turn it to the left, yeah. and then off, and then off, and push. Okay. Push on there. Yeah. This is the. This is the orange. Beep. Okay. So how do I remember how to do these? These are brakes, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. So we got our scooters. We're ready to go. Got a helmet. I'm a little bit nervous because Naz asked what the silver things on the handlebars were. <laughs> With, like the brakes. So I can go, but my problem is braking. So it's well, that's okay. a big problem. Okay, well, as long as we don't need to brake, we should be fine. Yeah, 500 pesos for the entire day for a motorcycle. So we got two scooters and it was 900 for two, which is obviously a thousand pesos is $18. Even $18 for two people for two scooters for the entire day until 9 p.m. is great. You can go wherever you want. I don't know. I know. We're friends. We were just riding and then we saw this like sign to this beach and we went, huh, why not? So here we are. We're gonna check this out. And then maybe head on out. We can do whatever we want. We can do whatever we want. Yeah, this is beautiful. Oh my god, guys, you ready for this? Okay, I'm gonna do a quick turn around. Are you ready? So this is where we just randomly stop. At the waterfall we have a, a guide that's going to take us up give us a quick little tour and uh, we'll see this this is our first waterfall on the tour um, but we're excited to do this little side trip and it's a good thing we rented those scooters right yeah what else happened today well, our camera broke as a who casualty. broke it um, unfortunately it was bouncing around
got broke. Yeah. You're gonna get your feet wet. We're gonna go across? Yeah. Oh my god, what are we doing? that was an awesome trip a day trip and a hike I'm looking at the sign for the pronunciation La Calit, Calit Falls waterfalls here uh, in El Nido we weren't planning to stop if we would we would have brought the uh, water shoes because it's quite a hike they told us 20 minutes it's actually quite a bit longer than that there are about uh, five to seven river fordings that we did and uh, at the end we were pulling ourselves up a rope so if you can't manage a, a moderately strenuous hike then it may not be the thing to do especially in the thongs or the flip-flops that we're wearing we had a good time had fun and we're on to the next what happened we ran out of gas almost ran out of gas I don't know, what about my scooter? It still shows the same amount. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we know where to get it. Okay. It's good? Okay. Yeah, thank you. A little stuck coming out here so um, we're hiring someone to take the scooter out because the roads were completely wet uh, we got stuck up to the knees in mud I lost both my shoes <laughs> you, your scooter fell over three times three times this is the state of my scooter now so the water in the mud sorry not the water came up to here and how many people did it take to so get us out three of us to pull it out we had to back it out and then uh it was totally it stuck along the side one of the bridge was kind of washed out so you had to go through on the sides we got them through but it took us a long time and so we don't want to really want to risk going through and getting stuck again and i think that you know i think it's not worth the trouble i guess 
get stuck. These are not our scooters anyway. We're renting them. And we want to bring them back. Hopefully in one piece. So we're just hanging out here in the uh, center of town. I fell over like three times. I got stuck was, in a ditch. It was tough. I almost lost mine too. A little nervous. <laughs> a little? I almost dumped mine a couple times. <laughs> okay. So we'll say bye and hopefully we'll survive this. We'll be okay. We'll survive the hurricane. Washing the bikes off because they got covered in mud, and we wanted to bring them back and have them semi clean. I think that's the right thing to do. So I put some gas in them, but they were really dirty. Uh, so they're looking a lot better now. It's hard to tell. It may be a good thing I'm in this skin color <laughs> because literally brown. my face is covered in mud. That's dirt? Yes. Tonight we're running on the right track.